Hello everyone, what's up and welcome to my channel. This is my February update for my Panda palette for the year. This project started back in August of last year and it is ending August of this year. So we're like more than halfway through. I am going to show you guys pictures of what each shadow looked like last time as I'm showing it. And now that I think about it, I don't think I took a picture. So it would have to be a screenshot from my last video. I don't know what is happening to me. I need to take those pictures. Anyways, if you're new to my channel, my name is Sadaba. I make makeup content. If that is something you're interested, please subscribe and let me show you guys my progress. <music> Here she is in all of her glory. So we're going to go over the two shades. I'm going to go over Tempura and Golden Ochre. So Golden Ochre, I have like a side pan. I'm not sure if I hit it last time or recently, but um, I've been working on them that it is my favorite shade. I can usually finish this, but I won't because it's like my favorite shade and I can't find a dupe for it and you can't buy a single of it. Which is crazy but um so i'm holding on to that shade and i think i'll try to finish it when this project ends and i'm going to focus on other shades in the meantime for tempora not gonna lie for a little bit i stopped highlighting my brow bone but i'm gonna start doing it again so that is mainly what i use that for now i have some good news regarding bond fresco and vermeer so vermeer i finally finished this shade this is where she is absolutely nothing yeah there's nothing here and then for brown fesco i have been using this quite a lot it's a very nice color especially since it is winter time and i realized my shadow isn't quite blended anyways it's been a long day so uh i'll just leave that as is but i have been using that it should look a little bigger but not really and then next up is an antique bronze i'm gonna be real with you i did not touch this so we're just gonna move on and then it's love letter and cypress umber i have been using i think i used love letter maybe once and i cypress umber i don't remember if i used it and so these two i kind of stopped using my i've been trying to focus on the reds in this palette and i've been mainly focusing on these two so anyways let's go down then we have raw sienna and burnt orange i have been using these two a lot yeah, these two are like my go-to kind of crease shades, even though they're kind of darker. Um, I do like them. And then we have Primavera, which I finished a long time ago. And then we have Red Ochre and Venetian Red. Um, these two, uh, I have been trying to use them. And I think there is a little bit of a difference, especially with Red Ochre. I've been using this quite a lot. Venetian Red, I don't think people realize this is not a matte color it, it has a little bit of a shimmer which is why i don't use it as often and i've been mainly gravitating towards red ochre i am wearing it on my outer crease and so i'm working on that and then we have warm taupe and realgar i think these two have changed just slightly i have been using warm taupe quite a lot and realgar i don't remember if i have used it but yeah i think i'm in a good route um so my goal last time was to finish this and i did which is great and now um just like last time i'm gonna focus on these three shades um but since spring is coming up i'm probably going to use this a lot because i like pinks now i'm gonna try using this shade i really don't like it but i'm gonna try using it a little bit and so yeah there is that and one more thing i'm gonna start from now on i'm gonna start counting how many times i'm using each shade i feel like that will help me a lot more because sometimes I forget if I reached for something and so it will help us go smoother. So yeah, my cat needs me right now so I have to go. Thank you so much for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe and I will see you in my next video. Bye!